Hello cold artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. So I'm here today with an unboxing. I actually have two unboxings today. Um, uh, just first an update on me, I am feeling better. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you know I went to a wedding on Saturday and uh, I felt great and then woke up Sunday morning, I felt great and by Sunday afternoon I was sick, I had a fever. And I basically had a fever Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday was my first day fever free. I've been fever free ever since. Um, still have some congestion, some congestion, but I'm working on it. Uh, but definitely feeling better. So what I have today, um, I have my Goodies Color Club. Um, this came one day this week. I'm not sure which day it was. I think I want to say maybe it was Wednesday or Thursday, but I still, you know, just wasn't quite, I was still working through some things. All right, so that came, but then, uh, actually, it was supposed to come today. I was expecting it today, um, but it came early. It came um, yesterday, and that is my... Um, My Advent 2022, also from GE Designs. Um, so GE Designs, this is their first year doing it. They put together an Advent calendar uh, or some type of project-based Advent thing. I have no idea because it's the first year. I have not seen it, not done any sneak peeks. So I'm just going to unbox both of these. So um, let's get it to get it. Um, so first and foremost, I'm going to do Color Club. Um, I love Color Club. Um, this has been going on. I know it's been over a year now. I know I missed the first few months because um, I was kind of late to subscribe. But I believe this is $27.95 per month. I will put the information in the description box. And every month, um, Gudrun will choose uh, generally uh, an inspiration from nature. And then she will use that inspired object to um, curate a series of half yards that are that correlate to that color so let's see what it is for this month uh, let's change my get my ruler out the way although I've been sick I have been sewing I've been sewing I've been sewing a lot actually. Because why not? Okay. So this is our color or our inspiration object. Let me, the glare on there is kind of strong. Norway spruce. So we've got some pine trees. Um, so what she does is she also gives you the skews and the name of the fabrics. And then um, if you want other coordinates, she does give you some options for that here as well. So let's open these up and see what we have. Clearly they're going to be green, right? And we've gotten green before. Kind of glad to see green before. I like green in my quilting because um, I also like a lot of purple and so green works well with that and I used up a lot of my greens for a project already so be nice to add a little bit more green oh these are so pretty these are pretty okay okay so let's keep them in order so this will be leafy scroll Very nice. This is really pretty. But this is probably my favorite. This is Meadow Pine. And they're very, um, they're showing very true um, on the camera versus um, real life. They, they're very similar on camera to real life. So 
it's a fair representation. This is moon dust pine. These are going to be great to work with. These are going to go with so many uh, of my collections. The last green that we got, it was a brighter green. These are a bit deeper. We have Tuscana Emerald Isle. And then our very last one is Solid-ish Green. So these are the half yards for this month. These are pretty cool. Like I say, um, and I say this every month, Color Club, not exciting, right? There's no notions, there are no patterns, there are no, um, you know, you know, cute little candies or, or, you know, other little goodies like that. It's just five half yards, but of every, um, of all of my subscriptions, although this is not the most fun, it's definitely the one that I use the most. It's the most utilitarian. It's the most useful. The other ones are very fun. This one, this one is the most useful as far as like what I already have, making use of my stash. So I love Color Club. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Even though I'm paying top dollar, which I don't normally do, right? <laughs> paying, paying top dollar. But that's okay. You can treat yourself sometimes. All right. So the advent calendar. All right. So this is what it looks like. It just says Advent 2022. See what's inside GE Designs Iceland. I guess I should be talking, you know, but I've been trying not to talk so much, you know, because I was. I've been sick for so long, so I've been trying to, you know, like, save my voice and not do a lot of talking, but now that I'm feeling better, okay. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and the top of the box. This is cute. Advent box. Four joyful surprises. So these are supposed to be opened on November 22nd, November 29th, December 6th, and December 13th. So there are four weekly prizes, or four weekly projects. So this box was $134.95, and then the shipping was $15.99. So like $151 and then your tax and stuff like that. So let's let's see. I mean I'm I'm I wanna open it. Let's see what we got here. This is very like I said, this is new, so I have no I have no idea what to expect here. Okay. So this is week one. Okay. So clearly we have some bowl cozies. Okay. We have okay, so we have quite a bit here. So we have some Bowl cozy batting. I'm actually happy to see this because um, I've got some fabric cut out right now to make bowl cozies, and I have some of these um, already that I bought, and really wishing that I had bought two, and it was going to be a little expensive to go back and buy another pack. So actually, qu quite happy to see this. 
happy to see this. Um, that's less batting that I have to cut because I'm definitely making bowl posies. Um, this is a point turner. Um, I've got a few a few different kinds of these. I don't think I have this specific point turner, but um, I have one. I have the one that marks the creases, but is not also a point turner. This is both. So basically, you can use this to mark your quilt. So like if you, once you baste your quilt, you could use this tool to um, kind of drag it and it marks creases in the in the in the quilt top that you can then follow along so um and it's also you can use this pointy here as a point turner and this is a sewing notions bag There we go. This is cute. It's got some uh, heft to it. It's got some some thickness to it, so it's not thin. And it says "Oh so merry," and it's a cute gnome, and it's on both sides. Nice zipper lined on the inside. Of course, I'm going to take this foam out. This is cute. And then, of course, we have our fabric here to make our bowl cozies. So, I expect this to be, let's see, this is clearly not big enough to make a bowl cozy. So, and this isn't big enough to make a bowl cozy because the squares usually have to be bigger than this. Um, I'm imagining with Gudrun, there's probably instruction. There's probably instruction that's going to come if you wait and follow along with her. And honestly, I have not... Um, Ever since the times changed for Tipsy Tuesday and Happy Friday, I haven't been watching as religiously as I used to. So I probably what's happening is that um, if you follow along with her, you will get the instructions for what we're doing with this stuff here. Because these are not big enough squares these are not these are not wide enough to make large enough squares to make a bowl cozy. So, and this is this is quite a juicy piece of fabric here. Let's see how let's see what this is. Three quarters of a yard maybe. Um, trying to, <laughs> yeah. Two thirds, two thirds of a yard, about 24 inches. So I'm gonna fold this back. But yeah, that, that would be my guess guys, that there's, you gotta follow along with her to, um, to get the instructions. But you know, I'm just being, I'm just deciding to, to, to jump the gun and open my stuff early. This, um, <laughs> random, but this fabric right here, it looks like a, um, a flannel that I had at one point, but it was, um, pink and pink and yellow. Alright, so let's put this back in bag one. Alright, number two.
<clears throat> excuse me. Still, still a little, still a little something going on. Okay, so we have some GEZ organizing stickers. Happy to see these. I had actually um, just bought some of these. <laughs> So now I'll have two packs. So with the two packs, I probably won't ever have to buy them again. Um, I have no idea what we're going to be making again because, well, no, take that back. We're clearly going to be making some keychains. We've got this juicy piece of fabric here. This is gorgeous. This gorgeous teal. It looks like we have, how much of it do we have? A uh, quarter yard of a quarter yard of this teal. And then we have this fabric here. Some from Ruby Star, Sarah Watts. We have but an eighth. An eighth of a yard of this print here. We have a zipper. Some type of vinyl, maybe? Peel off vinyl. Some type of interfacing. And these GEZ organizing stickers. So, I don't know what, oh, then we have the, we have a label thing here and then we have these um carboner clips so it looks like we'll be making some kind of pouch and or some type of keychain but it would seem more like a pouch by the zipper that's going to be interesting Well, this looks really interesting. Um, okay. Well, clearly we're making something for the oven. So we have this GE Designs uh, silicone spatula. Um, I'm never going to turn down a silicone spatula. I eat scrambled eggs almost every day, and I like using the silicone spatula when I cook them. So I have a few of them, and I'm okay with another one. Even though it says GE Designs on it, I don't care. I love me a silicone spatula. And this is clearly, um, we're going to be making some type of heat project, some type of like oven mitt or casserole carrier or something like that. We have some regular fleece. And then we have this, um, I forget what you call it, but it's for projects that are, if you're going to like make, make an oven mitt or something like that. And then here are fabrics. We have here, let's see. This is a fat quarter of grunge. Oh, peppermint bark. I didn't get to get any of this fabric. This uh, peppermint bark by Basic Gray. I love Basic Gray. Um, and I liked this line, peppermint bark. This looks like a fat quarter as well.
and I would imagine this is a fat quarter as well also from peppermint bark yeah so we have three fat quarters from peppermint bark by basic gray from Moda we've got some fleece and then we have the insel bright that's what it's called insel bright and a silicone spatula And this is our week three project. So that's three fat quarters. I should, I guess I should be keeping track of the fabric, but I'm not, I haven't been. And then the last week, week four, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> More is always better. GE Designs. On both sides. So clearly, this is to put a, a bottle of wine. Uh, it's neoprene. Seems well made. Heavy duty stitching. This is cute. I think it's cute. And then we have some ribbon. We have, is this a fat quarter also, a generous fat quarter? Yeah, so we have a generous fat quarter here. It's about 18, um, 20 inches instead of 18. Another generous fat quarter. And interfacing. No idea what this is going to be. Those are, those are the, so those are the, those are the ingredients for our four projects. So, um, I have no idea what we'll be making. No idea, no idea, but I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm pretty excited about it, um, especially the one with all the um, carabiner clips and also um, the one with peppermint bark because um, I love me some basic gray. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know you know, I guess maybe I should have written down how much fabric we were getting, but I, I didn't. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can if I can tally it up. All right, so so I did I did the maths, and um, so basically, it's about two and a half yards of quilt fabric plus the other stuff. So about maybe about a yard of interfacing plus the insole bright plus the vinyl plus the zipper plus the ribbon plus the carabiner clips plus the um the other little thing plus the spatula and then the wine thing so basically i think the easiest way to break this down to try to figure out the value of it and if it meets if, if, if you think it's worth it or not, is to break it down per day, right, or per project. So if you include the tax, um, it's like, it's like, it, I'm not the tax. If you include the, the $16 shipping plus the, the cost of the box, 
it breaks down to $37.50 per project. And then if you don't, if you take that shipping out, it works, it breaks down to like $34 or $33.80 per project. But the thing about this particular um, box is, is that it's the instruction, right? I can't really rate this yet. I can't really rate it yet because it's not like, oh, here's a, here's a pattern and here's the fabric and go make your project. I know that there's going to be an in-depth tutorial for each one of these. And part of what you're paying for is that instruction. Not just the pattern, but the in-depth tutorial I know is going to come with it. So I, I, I wanted to, my goal was to try to see if I could um, kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on this advent calendar, on this advent box. Um, but I can't because I feel like the instruction is going to be so much a part of the value. So I feel like I have, I'm going to have to wait and um, do the projects when they come out, when the, when, the, when the projects come out and when the tutorials drop, go ahead and, and do it and then I'll be able to get a better idea because just looking at the contents, I, I can't really tell. Um, there's certainly not a ton of fabric in there for $135, right? Two, two and a half yards is, is not a whole lot of fabric for $135. But then you do get a lot of those extras in there. Like those bowl cozy um, batting squares, the, those pre, the pre-cut batting, that's like $15 by itself. Just that. Just, just that is $15. Like if you go to the store, it's $15. So, because I know, because I was trying to buy some more and I didn't want to pay $15. So I didn't, I didn't get any more. So, um, yeah, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. I'll have to wait and see. So, uh, I don't know. I guess that was kind of an anticlimactic unboxing there for the Advent projects because I can't rate them until we have the instructions and the tutorial because that. I mean, I've learned so much. I've learned so much watching Gudrun and watching her tutorials and um, just her tips and tricks that I've learned. I've just learned so much. So um, I guess that's going to be the value assessment, right? What what do I learn working working through these projects with her? What do I learn? So that's going to be I'm going to have to reassess this. So uh, I'm going to have to put a pin in it. And I'll tell you what I think about the GE Designs Advent um, Advent Project box at a later time um, after the tutorials drop. So sorry if that was anticlimactic, and I'll see you guys next video.